You're watching Football Daily and here's five ways that technology will revolutionise football. And no, we're not talking about video refs, that shit's already been done. Five, smartphone substitutions. With the world of social media becoming more and more prevalent, it's only natural that the big wigs at FIFA will want to dip their grubby mitts into the likes of Twitter and Facebook and exploit the global audience that love football. And what better way than through one simple tap on a smartphone? Tired of seeing Arsene Wenger only making substitutions from the 70th minute onwards? Well, you might eventually be the one who makes the decision to bring a big target man off the bench. As top flight games are so easy to access and the technology is already up to scratch, fans' influence on managerial decisions could be the closest and scariest addition to football. But why would clubs ever allow fans to overrule the manager? It's all about the Benjamins, as the possibility of a subscription fee to this kind of service could rake in serious money from passionate fans who want a real input in their beloved football club. There are two reasons why this will be very unlikely to ever happen though. Mainly because managers would refuse to join a team which they wouldn't have a say in and perhaps on a funnier note, the amount of trolls who would vote to take off a side's best players to bring on a 2030 equivalent of Nicholas Bentner would be too much to handle. 4. Drone Cap The videos that drones provide in 2016 are truly remarkable, capturing vivid landscapes and vast open areas. But like most technology, drones will eventually become smaller, higher quality and even more agile than they currently are now. And this is where they'll enter the football pitch. HTC actually believe that by 2030, insect-sized robots carrying miniature cameras will be buzzing around the field, following players every move so viewers can get a truly close-up image of mazy dribbles. In fact, HTC believe this so much, they've even written blog posts on it. This, of course, sounds absolutely fucking mental, even more so when the mobile phone company believes that even players' kits will have miniature cameras installed in them. The problem, though, is that it could piss off players to no end. Imagine if you're going through one-on-one -on -one in goal and you have a tiny little robotic fly floating above your head. Let's not even mention the fact that the people controlling these drones would have a ridiculous job on their hands. Ducking and weaving a robot in between players flying balls and of course the referee. Although now drone racing is somehow a thing, we're sure one of those champions could master the art of flying insect-sized robots in football. 3. Augmented Reality Remember Google Glass? Yeah, that project didn't go down too well, but the technology involved in augmented reality is only improving and could aid those on the touchline. Your club's manager, the medical staff and fitness coaches might all be equipped with a special range of glasses in the future. Each role can have a different set of statistics laid out visually to them in real time. Managers and their assistants might be able to see distance covered, pass completion and shot attempts in real time and assess individual players' performances from their dugout. The medical staff would be able to see players' blood sugar, any muscular irregularities as well as any other indicators of injury risk whilst groundsmen could even use AR tech to ensure that the pitch can be perfectly corrected during half-time. Early perceptions of how these statistics can be obtained is through the use of active skin, with electronics attached to the player linked to the nervous system. Or they could simply connect a site like Opta straight into the AR's feed, possibly helping the manager to make game-changing decisions. Unfortunately, for all of this to come together, there need to be a major advance in technology with 2035 the projected date for any augmented reality technology. 2. VR in the stadium Virtual reality has taken a major step forward in the past two years, with the likes of Oculus Rift and Sony starting to create a massive market for VR in gaming. Video games and VR are in the early stages of development, but once gaming is conquered, live events might soon be on the agenda for VR pioneers. Many football fans across the world support a team from outside their country, and even many who live in the same city as their club can't afford to watch them on a weekly basis. But with VR tech, supporters might be able to get the full experience of being in the stadium while sat in the comfort of their own home. The setup largely would be simple, a designated seat provided by the football club that would have a high quality camera attached and fit for VR use. The club could then charge the supporter a price lower than an actual ticket or perhaps even introduce a VR season ticket scheme. It could then even evolve to projecting the fans' chance into the stadium from their seats. But with the side struggling for atmosphere at the best of times, hello Arsenal, this would be another kick in the teeth for fan groups who are trying to turn their stadium into a cauldron rather than a soulless bowl 
filled with tourists. One, Android players. Probably the one that everyone envisions is the day that football isn't played by humans in a futuristic sci-fi world. The idea of a robot footballer has already been portrayed in Nike's adverts before the 2014 World Cup. And it's them lot at HTC again who believe that in 2060 there'll be a full Android team in our own league. That's quite ambitious, considering that the closest we've got so far is a couple of robots barely kicking a ball and generally being shite. HTC's vision is almost like a clusterfuck of the film iRobot and Shaolin Soccer, claiming that robotic athletes would be five times stronger than the average human. HTC believed that the matches would be more exciting and that supporter engagement with the Android players would be through the roof. But would it be the same as supporting your local team every weekend? Let us know what you think by voting in the poll right now. So there we have it, but what do you guys at home think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you click here for loads more great content and down there to subscribe. And as always guys, we'll catch you later.